By watching this video, you'll learn how to control who can schedule at your practice, which clinicians can be scheduled, and how to create and adjust the different visit reasons you schedule at your practice. Okay, first question, who has permission to schedule appointments at your practice? And who can double book? And who manages your practice calendar? Open the user administration tool. And edit one or more of your practice's roles in the roles tab. My practice has two roles, a scheduler role and a schedule manager role. Anyone with the scheduler role can see the appointment book, schedule visits, and place blocks. But only a scheduling manager is allowed to force in appointments or double book or schedule outside a provider's open hours or configure provider hours, that's the calendar and their templates, or change the practice's visit reasons. After I set up or make changes to the roles for my practice, I can edit the user accounts to make sure they have the correct role if they don't already. Let's take a look at Joan. Great, Joan is a nurse practitioner and she's also a scheduler. Okay, next, who can be scheduled? I've got to indicate which clinicians in my practice can actually have scheduled appointments. I'm still in the user administration tool and I'll find a doctor or other provider who will be scheduled. And right down here near the bottom with the appointment book setting, I indicate that they can be scheduled. Dr. Crusher is a scheduling provider for the appointment book. I'll double check this setting for all of the providers at my practice who see patients. Next, let's look at visit reasons at my practice. Does Dr. Crusher need 10 minute sick visits but 15 minutes for well visits? Do we schedule special consult visits? I'll do all of that in the visit reason editor. I see a list of all the visit reasons that my practice schedules here on the first tab. There's all our well visits, for example. On the second tab, I see the visit types, which I'll use later to color code my scheduled templates so the schedulers know what types of visits should appear in time slots. And the third tab is where I can set a default visit reason. A great time saver. Most practices set that to sick. Let's go back to that Visit Types tab. My practice color codes each provider's schedule so that the schedulers can know when to schedule sick visits, well visits, rechecks, ADHD, and so forth. On this tab, your practice can create same-day sick or any other kind of visit type you want. A busy pediatric practice has to think about this or they end up filling the schedule and having no room for same-day sick appointments. You can give a visit type a name and a custom color. Okay, once my practice has decided what visit types I want to save time for, I'm ready to update my visit reasons. So for each visit reason, and I'll open up the one month visit reason as an example, I can adjust the name, the visit type, this is a well visit, and whether or not I want forms to automatically generate when we check this visit in. Talk to your client advocate to learn how to adjust the forms and information that print out. I can set the default duration for my practice, we usually schedule one month well visits for 15 minutes. And if a provider needs more time or wants less time, I can enter their time here. Keep in mind that appointments are always scheduled on the appointment book unit. So if you have five minute sick visits, you could fit three at 8 a.m., three more at 8.15 a.m., and so forth. Also, keep in mind that this represents your practice's overall flow. You schedule the provider's time for seeing a patient, charting the visit, but in the background, the front desk, the nurses, they all have to support this visit pace. So this is a standard 15-minute well visit, but Dr. Crusher requested we always schedule 10 minutes for one-month well visits. Uh, this change will only affect appointments we schedule from now on, so... Previously scheduled appointments of this type will still be 15 minutes for Dr. Crusher. Takes a little while for the impact of visit reason lengths to be felt by a busy practice. I could click Save and Next to cycle through all the visit reasons in the table. Setting up all the visit reasons with visit types and custom times for providers is a big job initially. Once it's set, only takes a few seconds to tweak and adjust when your practice discovers it really needs more time for a certain visit type, for example. 
Okay, now you know the deepest level of appointment book configuration, user accounts and roles, and updating your visit reasons. As always, your client advocate is an expert on these tools and can help you out. We also have videos on scheduling appointments and on managing the provider's hours and their calendar. For those videos or for a written guide on everything you saw in this video, visit learn.pcc.com. Thanks for watching.